ZFS is a revolutionary file system that brings enterprise data management to commodity disk drive. It solves problems with silent data corruption, the cost of administering storage, and dramatically increases file system performance. Sun created ZFS to lower the cost of administrating storage. This cost has become increasingly important because of the value of information and how much we want to store. In this demonstration, we will be creating a RAID Z2 Stripe group. In this group of drives, all the data is written so that if any two fail, the data still exists. This works because of how ZFS writes redundant data into the stripes. In this case, we will have eight drives attached to a single machine. The graph in the upper left-hand corner represents the read traffic coming from the drives. Excuse me. One drive fails, one drive fails. But the application keeps running. How does that happen? We have parity. We have parity on the data. Okay? Another drive fails. Doesn't matter. The data is still flowing. The data is still correct. The application does not know it. Okay? Drives fail. You plug in a new drive, and then it will actually go and what's called resilver the drive, and actually take the data off of the other drives, recalculate the data, and write it on the blank drives. So we're going to give you a demonstration. The purpose of ZFS is to take inexpensive disks and make them high quality. So we're going to pull somebody from the audience. Somebody from the audience. You got your hand up? Come here. And what we're going to do Hello. What's your name? Grill? Oh, that's what it says. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have you choose a disk drive. Any disk drive. Okay. Just, just the second one. Okay, so we're going to take the second disk drive here. Okay. We got wires. We got a we got a little rat's nest of wires going on here. Okay, and we're going to take this disk drive. And we're going to put it right down here. Okay. Now I'm going to do the smashing though. How are we doing on the? Uh, okay, so file size. Okay, so the files created. Is it? Yeah. It's and, still, oh, it's still flushing out the cache. Now it's flushing out the cache. So let's start up a um, MD5 sum on that. Okay. So an MD5 sum is a program that will actually uh, calculate every bit. Okay, recalculate every bit to make sure it's correct. Is that interesting enough? Yeah. We're gonna we're, after we're done with this, we're gonna give you a disk drive. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, so so lift up the uh, lift up the screen. Now, now my boss was very concerned about this because. We really don't want to hurt anybody, okay? You have glasses on, right? Okay, so pick it up. And that's to make sure that bits don't go flying into the audience. Okay? So, so what you see up here is you see eight, um, eight green bars. They're not quite in order, but they're eight green bars. And then I'm gonna just take this hammer and smack it, okay? Now, this is a real demo, this is live. Okay, so it might be a little embarrassing when the whole thing falls over, you know, this is only the second time I've done this. I did it a little earlier today and it worked, okay. This is called testing, okay. So, you're gonna move that. Okay, so, <clears throat> are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that wasn't very good. How much is it cost? What? How much is it cost? The disk drive? <laughs> zero. No, it, it costs a lot more than zero. Uh, it's, I think it's a, I think it's a hundred dollar disk drive, right? Just, just about, just about two thousand five hundred rubles. Yep. There we go. Okay. Here, why don't you stand back a little bit? So we have the green bars going. Green bars are going, right? And we're just going to take this disk drive and we're going to smack it. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> So here, why don't you take this down, down and 
show it to the camera so that they can show everybody at, at, at no, no, oh, can you hold it right there? Can you zoom in on the, on the, uh, hold it still. And yeah, kind of turn it a little bit. It's... Uh, uh, it looks like one of the drives failed. <laughs> yeah, oh boy, look at that, okay. That's, there you go. Hey, you now have a disk drive. It, if you actually replace the disk drive, the, the, uh, well, it might be okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> Good luck, okay. Okay, we need one more, one more volunteer. We're not done yet. We need one more volunteer. You. Okay. Okay, we, I think we, oh, we ran. We, we, we yeah. smashed the drive, and what happened up there? Well, look at the, yeah, the bottom there. You can see we moved. So one of the drives is, is no longer part of the pool. It's wow. gone. Cool. And the, and the pool is now degraded. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's basically keeps running because we had two parodies on that, so it's it's still running fine. Let me um, start up another um, MD5 song. Right, okay. And then, but it also ran and ran to completion while we, after we smashed the drive. Yeah, okay. yeah, it actually finished up fine. So let's get them going again. Okay, so so we want you to, what's your name? Grill. <laughs> what's your name? It's, it's his name, too. Okay. I think there's a thing. Are these all related to you? No. No. They're brothers. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, please, pick a disk drive. That one. Okay. So, let's put it down here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the reason that you really are concerned about RAID Z or Z2 is very simple. When you have a drive fail, you have to replace it quickly before another drive fails. Because if a second drive fails, you're down. With RAID Z2, you're not, because the second drive. <laughs> the second drive fails. That hurt. Oh, look at that. It stopped running, and hopefully it will start again. Oh, there we go. Now we have two failed drives. But what's, what's almost more important is I go to a local computer store and I buy two more drives. Okay? I'm not going to smash these, but what I am going to do is put them in. Okay? I'm going to put these drives in. I have to find all the cables. And basically, the system will find these drives again and start. Too many wires. And start fixing the drives. So, in this case, the value is I didn't have to go and restore data. I didn't have to go to the tape, pool, and restore data. All I did was put, there it goes again, it's figuring everything out. Okay, I think I'm going to replace the drive. Okay. So now what it's doing is it's reading all of the other stripes and writing the new one and resilvering the disk. So again, this is eight drives. Chances are, uh, the chances are 25% that you're going to have, if you had eight drives, that you're going to have a failure this year of disk drives. This is a way of using Solaris, Open Solaris, to be able to create high reliability storage systems. So you got the drives going now. They're being resilvered. And you're done. Okay. And in summary, ZFS is simple, it's powerful, it keeps your data safe, it's fast. It's also open source. You can join the community at opensolaris.org in the ZFS community. It comes with Open Solaris for free. It comes with Solaris 10 for free. Thank you.